to another segment of Murphy's Thoughts with me, Murphy. So today we're going to talk about why is it so hard to make plans with friends and the different type of planning friends there are. Starting with the controller, the planner, the complainer, you got the liar, you got the whatever, and you got the ghost. And not this ghost. So let's start with first the controller. This person is the one who tries to make the plans and try to make everyone sway their idea. So if they want to go to Vegas, but everyone else wants to go to Los Angeles, guess what? They're going to be the ones who try to say the yay and nay on where they go. They're the ones who think they're top dog. Who gave them this authority? Nobody. So you better fall in line with the rest of everybody else because we're equal. Unless they out here falling. and paying for everybody, you better sit down with your 10% your of opinion because it doesn't matter for everybody. Then you got the planner. And this person is the one who's always trying to make sure that everything's on schedule. So they care about where y'all go, but not so much. They just care about what happens in the midst. So y'all choose a city. Okay, cool. What part? What time? What day are we going? How long are we going to be there for? How much is it going to cost? I'm trying to make sure to get everything done. And I ain't going to fit to you. Sometimes I'm that person. Because look, if you go to a place, you want to make sure you get everything done. Like, you just can't always go out on the street and just go dancing and drinking and have a camera phone up. Okay, so maybe you can. But <laughs> you want to do more than that just anything within your days. Then you got the complainer. Self-explanatory. They're the ones who literally find an issue with everything you guys choose. Y'all want to go here, they want to go there. Y'all want to go at this time, they want to go at this time. Like, for some reason, just nothing you guys want to do equals to what they want to do. However, they don't know if what they want to do is what they really want to do. They just want to find an issue within the problem. That is so annoying. Because they're literally just, it just seemed like so petty. I don't wanna do this anymore. It's just like, yo, you can stay at home. Like, <laughs> if that's an issue, we can plan an event at your house featuring just yourself. And I don't know who's more annoying between them or the liar. Honestly, the liar is probably the, the one because they're the ones who know from Jump Street that they're not going to be a part of the event. However, they talk, they text, they shoot ideas on the day of or the week of if it's a long event. They, they change their mind. I don't wanna do this anymore. Or they just you don't hear nothing from them. Like if it's something small, let's just say you guys supposed to go out to eat, right? They know they're supposed to leave at 7. So around 6, 6.30 is when they're gonna stop communicating with you. But they'll wait until about nine o'clock or even when the event is over and then you'll get a text. They're like, oh, my phone died. Oh, I fell asleep. Oh, my brother. Like, first of all, how you got a brother? You a single child. Okay. It's like little things like that where it's just like, you knew you weren't gonna go, so why are you wasting my time? Cause what Usher say? Just don't waste Please don't. Then you got the whatever, and they make things complicated because they're the ones who don't really have no say in things, right? So you'll think it'd be easier, but that's the issue because they're usually the ones who can't give any feedback, who can't give any idea. Literally, it's two types. Either they're all the way hype, where they're just like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's just do something. It's great, let's go, I can't wait, let's go, I can't, I love you guys, you're my friends, I love you guys. Or you got a type that's like, hey man, I don't really care. Like, whatever y'all trying to do, we can get into. Like, whatever is cool for y'all, I'm great. And that's where the issue lies. When it comes down to a choice, let's just say, again, you got three people who want to go to L.A. and you got three people who want to go to Las Vegas and they're the deciding factor. You're like, hey, man, so what you trying to do? Like, and of course, they're like, hey, man, I really don't care. Like, whatever you guys want to get into, I'm cool. Like, as long as I'm with you guys, I'm, I feel great. No, give a opinion. Even the hype one, they're like, hey, man, I'm telling you, bro, whatever you guys want to do, like, we can do, we can get into it real quick. I, I promise you, I felt so crappy. Just let me, just let me do something with you guys. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go do it. You're not helping the cause. You said 200 words, and now one of them was a choice. So irritating. Then you got ghosts. And these are the ones that they're just there. They never communicate. They never show any ideas. But on the day of the event, they just pop up. Oh, party's here. And he's just like, what you doing here? And they're like, well, you guys, we all talk about it in the chat. So you said we're going to be here at 7. This is where I am. And you're just like, oh, okay. Like, I'm not mad you're here. I'm just, okay. Like, you're just confused because they didn't say anything. Like, they just, you just never hear from them. And it's kind of weird. Now, if you want to see the different type of people when it's time to leave, and if you can leave, then click the video below and see part two.